welcome everybody. Um, before we get into uh, the, the the slides, I just want to mention IWIST. I am a member of IWIST and I have been for seven years now. And we now have a, a connection with Squiss and we agree to, the, you know, we're going to share events. And and so this is a great uh, collaboration between IWIST and Squiss. Um, and IWIST uh, brings together women and allies in science, technology, engineering and maths in West Coast Island communities. And it was founded in 2011 as Island Women in Technology. And the group's mission is really to offer a positive and supportive environment where women who work in STEM could connect and build community. And you're very welcome. If we have any virtual events, uh, you know, you're always very welcome to join us if you're not physically on the island. So today we are here to talk about virtual networking. Now, um, I'm really happy that you've signed up for this. I'm passionate about networking. I used to be a terrible networker. I, I dreaded it and I've learned to love it. And I speak on this topic many, many times, but this whole idea of connecting with people virtually is, is something that I'm really passionate about. And in fact, during COVID, I expanded my network tremendously and, and built connections with women in STEM, like across Canada, in the US and even around the world. Um, so I really encourage you to do this and, and uh, getting getting beyond your kind of constraints of your local environment um and and the benefit is there's no travel time right you know, or cost you, you know you just you just turn the computer on and here you are um it, it'll build your confidence it raises your profile in the industry and you know one of the other benefits is you're going to be put into virtual rooms and you don't have to go up to someone and try to engage them you're going to be put in a little room with three or four people today that you will have the chance to connect with. So next uh, slide. I'm going to teach you today part one of your introduction. And because uh, um, we, we've got time constraints, then you're all going to get a chance to take a few minutes and sort of prepare what you'd like your part one to look like. There should always, I think, you should be prepared, shall we say, to offer three parts to your introduction. And it really, really depends on the timing. Sometimes you'll only get to part one, but sometimes you may be in a place where you would get to do a one minute introduction. And if that's the case, then you can go from part one, part two and part three and um, really uh, being prepared and having that comfortable way of introducing yourself is gonna really boost your confidence as well. So part one is always the what, explaining what it is you do, the function you perform, Part two is talking about how you do it. So explaining the skills and the training experience you have and how you apply them in your work. And then the part three is like, why? Explaining why was this role necessary? What is it? What is the difference that your role makes in your company or maybe for your clients or your coworkers or even the world on a bigger scale? So I'm going to just give you my intro so you can get a feel for what it looks like. So I'm Sue Maitland and I'm an ICF accredited life coach with Best Rest of Your Life Coaching. And for over a decade, I've been helping people make inspired life and career transitions with uh, aligned with their values, the strengths they love to use and what fulfills them. That's my part one. That's what you're going to be doing soon. But we'll move on to part two. Part two is how do I do it? Well, I leverage my training my personal and professional experience at events like this through blog posts on my website at suemaitland.com and you'll have a link later if you'd like to to join me there and uh, learn more and my free 20-minute consultations i offer on-demand online workshops on self-awareness priority setting and networking and uh, i'm also delighted when i get invited to support someone one-on-one -on -one as their personal coach my part three is my why. And, and, and why do I do it? Well, because through my workshops and coaching with me, people gain more self-confidence and greater clarity about what it means to be living their best life, both personally and professionally, and to find the motivation and the inspiration to follow through and take action to make their vision a reality. So there you've just seen an example of the three parts. Now, what we're going to do is give you a template for your part one. And so um, you, hopefully you've all got a paper and pen or something you can type on um, because you're going to, that's going to be the first thing that you'll share when you go into your breakout rooms. Now, I want you to know that, that this doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, it's going to be something you will be constantly refining. Even I, after all these years, I still tweaked my, my intro a little bit for this session. But start with your name and please use your full name. So many people will just use their first name. 
But for the, if you're trying to make connections, which is what we're wanting to do through our networking, give people your full name so that perhaps afterwards, if for any reason you didn't share your contact information, they could go look you up on LinkedIn and find you. That if you just put Sarah then or Sarah P, that doesn't help people connect. So always use your full name. Um, your job title. Now, here's um, something I want you to be aware of. You can call yourself whatever you believe you are. It does not have to be the same as the title that the company that you're working for calls you because companies have their own ways of labeling jobs, but they may not accurately reflect everything you can do. I mean, if you're happy with your job title, use the same one. But if not, you know, when you introduce yourself, tell people what the job is that you believe that you do, right? Years of industry experience, it's always good to let people know if you have a few years of industry experience. If you are brand new to the industry, you don't need to include that in, in part one. You don't want to highlight it. Um, but uh, if you have a couple of years, it's always fine to mention it. Again, the company you work for, in some cases, you may want to mention this. In other cases, you might want to be more general. You might want to say, I'm working in the, the healthcare space or something like that. It's totally up to you whether you're comfortable. If you're proud of the company you work for, you want to share that, then that, that's up to you. Um, and then you describe the type of work that you do and who you do that work for. So I've given you a little example on the next slide, breaking down these things. Um, and, you know, I'm imagining, I have an imaginary Mary Chan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Chan. That's her name. Her job title is I'm a systems analyst. Uh, she has, I have four years of industry experience and I work with TELUS, um, where I'm responsible for liaising between the programmers and the business users to make sure that the services we're delivering really do meet our business requirements and serve the needs of our customer. So that's my, that's as an example of a description of a part one. And so what we're gonna invite you to do, we'll leave that one. I don't, oh, sorry, I'll just quickly show you. I have also, we can scroll, I have done part two for Mary and part three, but today, so you'll get access to those if you decide that you wanna build your part one, two and three. But today, because of time constraints and because we're really here to do that networking, we're going back up to that example of part one, perfect. Thank you so much, Ashley, you're doing a great job. Um, and uh, we're gonna leave this up on the screen and we're gonna give you each um, some time now to, to craft your part one introduction. And I said, don't get nervous about it, just, just whatever feels comfortable, but try to use this template format if you can. Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you had some great conversations. I think we have everyone. Um, Sue, I know you had just a few wrap up remarks. So, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the first thing I want to say is congratulations because you showed up. And that's the biggest thing, you know, about networking. It's so easy to procrastinate, put it off and have other things. And uh, you did it. You showed up. And I hope you had some fun. And I hope you made some really interesting connections that, that uh, the key is to follow up with them now. I mean, that is that is how you build your network and and think of ways that you can help those people. And there could be ways they can help you, too. So um, we are going to do a quick survey. I think um, that's going to come out. You're going to have a chance to tell us if you enjoyed it. You can always put comments in the chat as well. And if you did, I mean, we're quite open to doing this on a more regular basis uh, because I do think the more networking you do, the, the more confident you get in it. And, uh, and, and we need to, to build those uh, connections as women and support one another. So um, I hope it was fun. Uh, there's lots of information on my website. So um, I think we're going to put up um, a slide with a QR code. And so I've put this QR code. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can find the link. If you um, scan that QR code, you can, there's, there's a whole bunch of blog posts. There's one, quite a detailed one on virtual networking. If you're going to do more of this, uh, lots of tips. And happy to have a 20 minute free consultation with anybody who's interested in just chatting with me and sharing their situation and, and seeing if in some way I can support you or connect you with resources or people that could be a good fit. So thank you for coming. And, and thanks so much to Squiss and, and IWIS for supporting this whole idea of connecting women because we need to do it. So Ashley, over to you. 
Yeah, no, I've got nothing to add. Thank you everyone for coming. I know we've gone over time, so I appreciate you sticking it up to the end. As I said, we will be sharing those slides and that survey link. So just have a great rest of your day and hopefully we can all connect soon. Thanks. Bye everyone.